What's up guys this is Rahul here in this video we are going to learn how can we create instagram like new story screen where we can add text emojis and any widget of your choice about the story image with the ability to drag and drop scale and rotate widgets in flutter so let's get started <laughs> Dragging a widget in Flutter can be achieved with gesture detector or the draggable widgets both of which will work fine but offer limited capabilities especially for scaling and rotating widgets but there is an excellent package called matrix gesture detector which solves most of the problems very easily i say most because to create instagram like features we need to modify the package a little what modifying a package sounds difficult right no not at all in fact at the end of the video you might be surprised to see that these difficult looking features can be created easily and in very little time so here is a new project i have created for this tutorial it has the base main file and a story widget story is a stateful widget with a scaffold having just an app bar and image as the body the image provider here is an asset image but you can use any image provider of your choice like network image or an image file it will work absolutely fine with this tutorial i have used asset image for the sake of simplicity because our goal here is to drag scale and rotate widgets above the image so to add widgets above the image we need to use the stack widget let's add an icon in the stack as an example and it should be displayed above the image in a real project you would give users buttons to add text emojis stickers or location like instagram but adding all these things will make this tutorial longer and complicated so what we are going to do is i have already created a dummy list of pre designed widgets which includes an emoji text and a sticker image we can add a floating action button on pressing which we can add the pre designed widgets above the story image in the stack Let's create a list of added widgets and in fab on pressed we just add the widget from our dummy list In our stack we add a for loop which will build all the widgets Let's hot restart and try As you can see it's working and all the widgets are getting stacked up over each other but We cannot drag and interact with any of the widgets right now. Time to add the matrix gesture detector and things will magically change. This is the package and we can actually use the example from the publisher of the package which just works out of the box. First, let's add the package in the pubsec file and save it. Now, create a new file which will hold the matrix gesture detector widget. Let's call it overlaid widget. and let's copy the whole code from the example and paste it here first let's rename this stateless widget to overlaid widget now let's strip this code to the bare minimum so it will be easier to understand so this is the code and any widget passed under the fitted box can now be transformed but first let's try to understand what's happening here A change notifier or a value notifier has been defined with an identity matrix as default value and whenever the matrix gesture detector receives an update in the on matrix update function the notifier's value is updated Next an animated builder has been used which takes the notifier's value as the listenable animation so whenever there is an update to the notifier's value it updates the state Then we have the transform widget which takes the 4d matrix and transforms the widget and at last we have the fitted box which enforces the child to scale to itself so guys if you are not much experience in flutter or haven't used the 4d matrix or animated builder before this might look overwhelming but you don't need to worry you can just copy and start using this code and then you can read more and learn about these widgets later now what we need to do is to pass our widgets which we have added about the story image as a child of the fitted box so let's add the child widget parameter to the constructor first also we need to rename child here to maybe child widget 
so they wouldn't interfere with each other let's replace the icon with child widget and it is also required to align the fitted box to center and finally let's wrap the widgets overlaid above the stack with the newly created widget that's it let's hot restart now add a widget and let's see if it is working or not as you can see you can now drag the widget to anywhere on the story you can also zoom and rotate it so yeah it's working let's add some more widgets and as you can see it is working for multiple widgets as well moving on as we can now add and drag widgets we also want to drop them to a delete button like if you are familiar with draggables you know they can be dropped to a drag target but drag targets don't accept any other widget apart from draggables and unfortunately the matrix gesture detector will not work under a draggable or any widget like gesture detector which can also be used to drag widgets so we need to create our custom implementation first let's add a delete button to the stack and position it at the bottom center the delete button will be visible when you hot reload now the thing is we don't want the delete button to be visible every time we just need it when a widget is being dragged and it should be hidden again when the drag ends the problem is the matrix gesture detector widget doesn't provide drag start and drag end callbacks and as i have already told you it is not compatible with the gesture detector widget as well otherwise we would have just wrapped it inside the gesture detector to get the dragging callbacks so how do we move ahead the answer is in the matrix gesture detector widget itself if you open its source code you can see that in the build method it returns a gesture detector widget itself remember in the start of this video i talked about modifying a package well this is what i was talking about we need to modify the matrix gesture detector package to add callbacks in its gesture detector widget however we cannot simply edit packages like this the right way is if you know about github you know that we can fork open source projects to modify them as per our requirements so let's fork the package to add callbacks for on scale start and on scale end we are just going to add void callbacks as we don't require scale details for this project but if you need it you can instead register a callback with details as well after the parameters are added in the constructor we just need to invoke these callbacks on scale start and end i have also added on scale start callback inside on scale update because when there are multi touch events on scale end could be called more than once so to be on the safer side we call on scale start from on scale update as well that's it all we need to do now is to save the changes get the url and use our own version of the package in the pubsec file also if you don't want to fork the package yourself you can use the version forked by me the url is in the description we need to remove the already added package and re-add it using git let's save it and now you can see our callbacks are added in the package so the hardest parts of this tutorial are already behind us let's quickly fix these errors by registering the callbacks let's add the on drag start and on drag end callbacks to the overlaid widget which will pass the callbacks received from the matrix gesture detector to our story widget in the story widget let's add a flag called show delete button and in the stack add an if condition to show the delete button only when the flag is true also we need to update the value of show delete button in the on drag start and on drag end callbacks we have added in the overlaid widget all set just hot restart the app and now we can see that the delete button only appears when we start dragging and is hidden when the dragging ends Now the last thing remaining is we need to actually delete the widget when we drop it on the delete button. Right now if you drop it on the delete button nothing happens. For the delete button to work we need to know when a widget is dragged over it. To accomplish this we are going to use the listener widget which provides callbacks for exact location of the pointer or touch points. 
The on pointer move function gives pointer event data on every pointer movement, but we require only the offset from the received data. Let's add a callback function to this widget so we can pass the pointer offset to the story widget. In the story widget, now we know where our pointer is while dragging a widget. So what we are going to do is we can create a delete zone in the bottom. So whenever a widget is dragged to the bottom, we will change the delete button color to let the user know that dropping a widget here will delete it. Let's create a flag called is delete button active. And in our on drag update method, we are going to check if the vertical drag offset is greater than the height of the screen minus let's add 100 to check if it works. If the offset exceeds our delete barrier, we are going to set is delete button active to true else false. And let's also change the color and size of the delete button when is delete button active is true. Let's hot reload and now you can see that whenever you move the widget to the bottom, the delete button is active. But still, if you drop the widget, it doesn't get deleted. So finally, in the drag end function, we need to check if the drag offset exceeds our delete barrier. But as you can see, we don't get the drag offset in the drag end function. Let's quickly change that. In the overlaid widget, instead of passing void callback on drag end, we are going to pass a function with drag offset. We also need to store the drag offset for every update in the on pointer move function. So on drag end, we can pass the offset. Make the necessary changes in the story widget and now we have drag offset in the on drag end function. Now we need to check if the drag offset exceeds our delete barrier. If it does, we need to remove the widget from the list. But to identify which widget we are dropping on the delete button, we need to pass its key to the overlaid widget. So all we have to do now is to delete the widget from the list using the key. That's it, hot restart and now we can see that dropping widgets on the delete button is working. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked our effort, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.